So now that we have the theme installed, and as you can see, there's literally nothing here. And the reason these are here is because those are by default the widgets that are added when you install WordPress to begin with. So to get rid of them, we're actually going to widgets. We're actually going to remove these widgets right now. Like I said, um, mo all WordPress installs come with these activated by default. So you just need to remove them. Let's refresh here. And as you can see, they are gone. So let's first start from the top. So I actually installed the, uh, or I added the logo. It is a little bit big. So the thing we need to do actually is we need to uh, go to theme options. Now theme options is a section that most or most every custom theme that I have purchased has somewhere either under appearance or some other tab that has something some sort of theme options where they have some sort of customized UI that allows you to select and change certain things in that theme that aren't built into WordPress. So here as you can see here's the logo but the logo it says the recommended size is 234 by 47 and apparently this is a lot bigger than that. Um, I was I'm not going to go uh, customize all the CSS and do everything for you right now. I'm actually just going to I'll be right back. I'm going to resize this to the recommended size 234 by 47 and I'm going to upload it and put it there so I'll be right back. So as I was changing this logo I realized that having it the height of 47 is is really not going to work. So and the width of uh so yeah, so let's let's go in here. If you actually I'm in Chrome, so I'm going to right click now, before I move forward, this does require some CSS knowledge, and you do need to know how to log into your server through FTP. So if that's not something that you uh, are familiar with or know how to do, um, I suggest you probably just skip over this next few minutes. So I'm going to right-click here, go to Inspect Element in Google Chrome, and it allows me to highlight uh, I need to go down to the image right so here's the image and then I'm gonna add some CSS properties here so I'm gonna put uh, height 47 right look how tiny that is now I, I, I'm not comfortable with that I want that a lot larger so I figured out so the width I want 155 pixel right but then it's pushed down a little bit so I'm actually gonna add a little margin here and do like negative 10 pixels and I'm just gonna keep bumping that up until I like where it is. So I kinda like where it is like right there. Right, so uh, I'm going to copy this CSS because what you put here, if I just refresh, right, it's just gonna go back to normal. So what I need to do is I actually logged into the server. Right, um, I went to Carmelo, WP Content, Themes, Soundstage, which is the theme, down to style.css. And when I opened up style.css, I literally, let me, right, uh, I looked for that logo, which is right here, and I needed to target the image inside of that. And what I need to do is just paste that CSS in and save it. So now if we come back to the theme, there's my logo and there's the size. So that's actually an acceptable size without having to change anything more than just the sizing of the logo. So that's just a little tip. Now the next step would be to set up the menu. Now let me go to uh, this site, his old site here. and. Uh, we want to just kind of see what the home page is like. So this is actually his home page. He has an about. So the about is his home page. The Carmelo project. Uh, that's another. This is about the musician Carmelo. This is about the Carmelo project. Uh, this is his CD, I believe. This is his individual song, and this is his blog. So the home page 
would probably have a few uh, things. So we'll just, for now, we will use the same items here. Let's just do that and then we'll switch later if we need to. So I'm actually going to make a new, I'm going to go here to appearance menus. I'm going to type in main nav, create menu. And I'm going to select primary navigation. I'm going to save that. But the thing is we have no pages right now. So we actually need to create these pages. So I'm going to go over here, Pages, Add New. We're going to create an About page. Publish that. We are going to create Add New. Uh, bear with the loading time. The Carmelo Project. What was the next one? Joy and Gladness. Add new. Joy and Gladness. Publish that. Listen and blog. Now before I move forward there's two small things that before we add them to the menu there's two small things that I do want to point out and they are the permalinks actually we'll go over it in the next video for now let's just continue on with the menus my apologies so the next videos are going to go over permalinks and home page settings so now we can just select these here we can actually view all, select them all, add to menu, and we'll organize it how we want. We can just drag and drop them how we want, pretty much the same order. Save the menu. Now when we refresh here, as you can see, here are our items. So that's how you set up the menu and the logo in this theme and in most themes will be very similar. The menu is going to be pretty much the same, although you might ha not have the theme locations. You might have or different names for the theme locations, um, but pretty much it is the same.